Hey everybody, welcome back to some more early morning barking, talking about BPD and MPD by somebody that has both. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and do all the socially things scrolling past you on the screen. Also, pop on over to patreon.com slash early morning barking or hit the join button just below for a couple of extra videos a week. Thank you to everybody who supports me on there. You're all awesome and I love you very much. I will say before I start, there is a dog in the room with me right now. And there isn't usually while I do these, for reasons that I hope will not become obvious over the next 10 or 12 minutes. Fingers crossed. He's lying down right now, but he's lying down in a way that says, why aren't you playing with me? Because I'm doing it. He doesn't get this. He's a dog. Anyway. Why the narcissist doesn't trust you. And neither does BPD. There are... A few things at play here, right? And right, I think the best way for me to explain it is this. You know a Lego set, right? You have bricks and each set comes with the bricks that you need to make the thing on the box. And there are instructions inside that tell you what order to put those bricks together in to make the thing on the box. That's Lego. Most people are working from the instructions that are in the box, right? That's what, like, they're, they're our neurotypical people. People with MPD and people with BPD have got the same set of bricks, but we've got a different set of instructions. And we want to make the thing on the box but we've got a duff set of instructions and sometimes we follow them really closely and really clearly and do everything they say for us to do, but we still don't end up with the picture on the box. And that is a sort of metaphor, simile, whatever, for what we do when we look at people's behavior and the things they say and the things they do and the way they interact with us. And this is why, well, I was initially just going to make this a video about narcissism, right? Why don't narcissists trust you? Projection, right? But the BPD having both makes this worse. Because BPD brings with it that fear of rejection, that fear of abandonment, that wanting to be liked all the time and most crucially it brings splitting right and we can go from a, the wanting to be liked to not caring if you like us because we've split on you and we hate you and you're awful now right so i have this added bonus if ever i split on anybody and the bpd gets fed up with them they're rubbish now don't like them Here's a list of reasons. This is when the MPD for me comes in and takes that baton and keeps running with it. Baton. Don't know why that word didn't come out just then. I'm not starting again. And it starts with building this Lego model, this conclusion, this opinion of what's gone on, whatever, with its screwed up set of instructions. Because it's an MPD brain that's doing it and it starts looking at the world from an MPD point of view of all the manipulative things I might do all the lies I might tell all the things somebody with MPD might do in our interactions with other people and we then project those intentions those manipulations onto other people and assume that that's how their mind works and so that's what they're doing. And we jump to our false conclusions with our screwed up set of Lego instructions. Because we assume that we're all working from the same set of instructions. Which we aren't. Ours are broken. And we keep building these things. And it's the same model that works in the BPD when you're splitting. When you decide everything is bad about a thing you've you it doesn't just come on a whim it happens quickly but it's so well thought out 
it's so well planned. We have a list of reasons. We could do a PowerPoint presentation on why that thing is awful. And right there in that moment, everything feels correct. And with the narcissism, it's the same thing. Everything feels correct. We don't trust you because we think you're like us and we know we aren't to be trusted. It's as simple as that. We're working with a broken instruction set. And so the conclusions we come to, the things we observe, the motivations we expect from people are incorrect. I guess to some extent, it makes us better at dealing with other narcissists because then maybe they're working from a, a more similar set of instructions to us. But we're thin on the ground, thank goodness. We're not people... I, how many other people with MPD do you interact with on a daily basis? Not Probably not many. I mean, does it count that I interact with all of you? I, I don't know. But we're not... You know, we don't bump into each other. We're not mates. We don't hang out. We don't work together, whatever. It, it's not a useful skill, really, unless you're Johnny Depp's lawyer. Apart from that, we need to learn to work from the proper instruction set. We need to try and interpret interactions and the world and the people in it, society, through the eyes of the neurotypical. Because if we're doing it through our own eyes, if we're not trusting people, if we're observing people with our own motivations, then we're wrong. We're getting incorrect data back. And that's that's causing us all manner of problems. I mean, come on, we could sit here all night and list like what is wrong with misinterpreting people's motivations and emotions. Many things, many problems can arise from that. Not it's 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 not difficult to see where that is, right? And so we don't trust you because we don't trust us. We think you're like us. We think the worst. It's like catastrophizing about people. Everybody is out to get us. And I know this because I'm out to get everybody. That's the way our mind is working. We can't necessarily trust you. And look, this is different from having faith in you, right? That's a separate video. Having faith in somebody is about what you expect them to do. And trusting someone feels more about believing what they've done. It's a different part of it. I don't have to have faith in you. Faith is for when I don't know for sure. It's a belief, right? I believe you can do this. That's faith. I believe you can do a good job. I believe you will do that thing how I want it to be done. That's faith. Trust is... It's a slightly different thing. It's it's that, what have you done? What are you plotting? I know what's in your emails. All of this stuff. And you know, if this takes over with, with the comorbidity, the, the MPD can start it. The MPD can can start the splitting process because I don't trust people a lot of the time. It takes a lot for me to trust somebody. And I sure as hell don't trust a new person. And to be perfectly honest, that is a part of the MPD that has served me better than it hasn't over the years. So I don't trust anyone. But if I start to not trust someone that I know, then it doesn't take long before the BPD can take over and split on that person. And then it becomes a big MPD BPD mess of hating somebody, knowing exactly why and what's wrong with them and so many other things and not trusting them. And maybe they just sat at home going, what the hell have I done? And it doesn't take much. That's where it goes. So that's why the narcissist doesn't trust you. We're looking at you like you're one of us. And we know what we're like. 
<laughs> you know, it's it's like it's why why I don't trust men. I am one. I know what we're like. There's so many things, and that's it. It's projection. So I'm sorry. I feel. I feel bad for the the bad motivation that I've assigned to people over the years. I've I've. I think I've accused some very good people of some very bad things in my life. And when I've done that, I've certainly done it on the attack, on the offensive. And I think I've hurt a lot of people and I've lost a lot of friendships and broken a lot of relationships that way. Um, Just through not trusting people, through assigning my own motivations to them. But hopefully, touch wood. I'm getting better at it. Anyway, I hope that helps. Thank you for watching the video, everybody. Don't forget, make it on over to patreon.com slash early morning barking. Follow me on Twitter at barking so I can like tell you things and stuff and sign up for a membership below. You take care. I'll see you later. Bye.